Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a reading. We're asking a question, what is improving for you next? Now, I sit somewhere between a realist and an optimist, so I'm in a gray space when it comes to this. I don't believe that only visualizations will take us where we need to be, so we gotta take action and meet universe God somewhere halfway, right? So, but we're looking at Overall, what's going to be improving in your life? Um, pile number one has got the citrine stone. Pile number two has the amethyst. Pile number three has rose quartz. And somewhere here, I should insert a picture taken in the daytime. So choose your pile and I'm going to see you in timestamps. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one with this citrine stone, let's see what is improving. So behind the El Goliath card, uh, what is hiding is the card from the Steampunk Keeper deck. So we're gonna pair these two up and let's see what is happening for you. You have the Sacred Fire, the Rebirthing Bonfire to start with. And you have Gloom and Doubt, nice. So with that, first of all, if you are in the situation or if you will be in the situation what we're seeing here pairing these two cards up as if this guy is sitting and looking at the fire it's like i'm i'm seeing the whole scene here any issues that you had when it comes to lack of self-confidence connected to one particular goal you will see it fly out of the window because what i'm imagining here in this combo this guy is looking at the fire and this guy is working on himself um, fire is passion drive and action and it seems like this guy has sat there for a minute and realized that you know what it's time for me to act it's time for me to become a little bit more self-confident in what i'm trying to achieve in life specifically connected to one goal so I want to pull one more card from the keeper deck and let's see what area of life is improving for you if I had to be very straightforward here and dry I would say you are transforming that gloom and doubt into some sort of passion drive and motivation so let's see where is this taking you what's improving Maybe you experienced the phase in your life where you felt you were bored, you were uninspired, you lacked energy, you wanted to get back on track. So that period is over and done with in the future. We have expectation. So we're getting up. Mm -hmm. What is improving pile number one, people? You already have something on your mind that you want to achieve as you're watching this video. You're expecting it to happen. You're expecting yourself to push through and you will. We have high honors and I also want one more card. We have little child, okay? bottom of a deck you have work occupation so it ties into high honors really well here i also want to pull one more card from el goliath deck what is improving pile number strength card is showing up here let me put this right here these are paired up Together, these are paired up. And I want one more card here for y'all. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles, bottom of a deck. You have quite a lot of pentacles here. We have six of pentacles, the sacred white scale bull. Okay, so what we're seeing here, it ties into what you've chosen very well, the citrine stone. What you may expect improving is your career. And I feel like for a lot of people, where you're going to find yourself that you, you're going to become much more visible uh, the way you speak how you sell yourself, 
how you sell your expertise, your product or your services, it's improving here. It feels like no one can stop you. You're very patient, so may maybe you're going to have to be quite calculated or somehow you have to wait for something to happen in order for you to push through. Um, somehow time is at play here. But overall, you may expect really good, if you're a student, graduations. If you're looking for any papers to be signed, any approvals, you are getting it, especially if that's related to family member or someone else that you care for. It doesn't have to be a literal child, but somehow maybe this plays into other people's lives. If someone was pressuring you to do better financially, career-wise, um, it feels like <laughs> um, you literally go and like, watch me, watch me. Financially, I'm seeing improvement here. I also see people being recognized in their jobs and paid really well for what they are capable of, their expertise or their knowledge. And I wanna say with this hawk uh, warrior over here, you, this is coming through almost like an ancestor or a spirit guide that is watching over you because this is literal warrior energy and it doesn't seem like, doesn't feel like this is representative of you. You are here. This is representative of someone who is watching over you. Mm -hmm. Snakes might be influential here. So maybe if you're drawn to look up at the meaning of a snake, but we have a couple of cards talking about expansion here. Um, you have the shedding snake and you also have the nine of pentacles good luck in businesses guys if you felt that you want to start your own business do not delay this i feel like you're gonna be really good entrepreneurs but some of you are doubting yourself or some of you may be comparing yourself to other people whatever you are offering to others as a service as a product maybe as expertise for companies or what you have within you um, you are unique. These people, panel number one, need to understand that what you got to offer is what you have to offer. So do not be afraid to take a step forward here towards the expansion and to leave your old skin behind because you're being prepared for this new chapter of self-sufficiency. Financially, financial independence I'm seeing here is people starting businesses, startups, really good investments um, or really good grades when it comes to graduation. I keep wanting to say those who want to start something on your own, even if it's not a full on business, a podcast, um, starting writing a book, starting a channel, anything like that, go for anything that makes you feel somehow free. Because I feel like a lot of you are going that way. A lot of you will work for yourself. A lot of you will uh, be independent and you will thrive. Okay? So that was a quickie. And I intended this reading to be quick, straightforward, um, not too analytical. Hopefully this is beneficial. If you need extra content, I have Patreon if you'd like to join me there. And I also have a second channel that's based on relationship readings. So all the links are down below and have a beautiful week. Bye for now. Hey tribe, pile number two, whoever has chosen the Amethyst. Now behind the Elgo Live card, we have one more card hiding and it's from Steampunk Keeper Deck. Let's see what we got. We have three of pentacles, the three wise masters. And you also have, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> partnership here twice wow okay i want more cards <laughs> this is insane so whoever doesn't maybe know tarot i'm sure most of you do um this is literally the same thing three of pentacles is um good luck in collaborations finding the people that you need to come across in order to build business or to build something substantial um to sign contracts the same goes for the partnership here 
these two people seem very excited as if they just made a deal or as if they just came up with a really good idea and they can't work can't wait to work together so I want more cards from El Goliath deck and let's freaking go successful partnership is the main thing now it doesn't have to only be work-wise people number two if you felt that you were not lucky or people kept this feels like a pattern disappointing you relationship wise doesn't matter would it be business platonic romantic your cards are telling you that your partnerships are improving in the future there is no need to worry you have the queen of pentacles the indian henna master in this deck mm -hmm. You have the Queen of Wands and it's a beautiful card in this deck, um, the Cosmic Huntress. It does go really well with the Amethyst vibing over here. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a story. I intended to keep this reading sweet and short for those who have short attention span. I'm not too analytical. So I'm going to try to do my best here for pile number two because I feel like there is a lot coming through already. And we have the devil. Let's clarify the devil with the tarot of the angels. Let's see why the master of lies is here. Why is this devil here? I'm hearing temptation, temptation, temptation. What are we tempted with? Okay, good. Wheel of Fortune, we're done with this stuff. We're done with this shit, I wanna see. We're done with this shit. <laughs> yeah, and then the Ace of Pentacles, cool. And I also want uh, one more card from the uh, Steampunk Keeper and we're gonna start talking. Let me adjust you slightly, let's go that way. Mm-hmm that way perfect you have a house you have partnership you have queen of pentacles uh, bottom of the deck we have partnership in a slightly different light um, queen of pentacles queen of wands the devil clarified by three of wands, the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles. I honestly want to see here pile number two people. Um, what's improving is what you are already inviting. So you started inviting this in. I don't know if you're understanding this consciously because subconsciously you might have been shown this in your dream state. Um, you might have this intuitive hint what's about to happen, but overall, what you're inviting in is a very grounded and quite beneficial partnership in your life. I want to say, I'm going to jump into specifics here. Some people might be signing contracts, um, selling homes or buying new homes that will, that will be it will be a really good deal especially if you're trying to move or if you're trying to improve your existing environment um, we're seeing really good luck i want to say for people you started already looking away from that devil there is either a behavior environment or connection that you are in already know what it is for you that keeps you tied that you felt before you cannot break through but in reality what you realize and maybe you just needed a hint or you needed a fresh breath of air in your life so you can start seeing that in actuality it's up to you to get rid of this devil or to make friends with it but not to listen to it keep it on a leash make it your bish right so 
looking at these cards over here, what we're seeing is detachment, right? So we're becoming a little bit more distant from the devil energy over here, whatever this would be. Behavior, codependency of some sorts, not being in the right place, in the right partnership. And the Wheel of Fortune is telling us that the fortune is changing. So what you are looking forward to is something substantial that's going to start. And it may start in the form of a new partnership or a discussion about a new environment. What about if, I, if we move to this country? What about if I move um, to another town or if I move a job? What about... Huh... There is something else coming for weight. Somehow this journey is very connected. It's not like either one thing is improving for one group of people and another for the others. It's like a journey. First of all, I'm recognizing what is that devil representative of in my life? And I think because it sits next to the Queen of Wands, the Cosmic Huntress, you're going to be shown what is interference in your life shown in a dream what to do or what to watch out for or to stop doing what you are to attach to once this recognition takes place again third eye over here you're going to become really really intuitive at one point um, we have number three showing up here three times you may, may start seeing signs very clearly very vivid, vivid dreams your ancestors will show you the signs that you can recognize, what it means for you. By the way, we have four times three. Three, 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 three. And four is the house. Four walls of a home. What you're improving, what is improving for you, but you're doing this, you're going to find yourself in some sort of safety that maybe you didn't have before would it be literal partnership safety if you were not happy before or if you needed someone else to come into your life and to provide you or to create and build a stronger partnership than you had in order to exchange information in order to give to one another exchange skills tools that you have right the next card we have is followed by work and occupation to become stronger as a team to work with one another so partnerships is a big deal and that's what's improving for most of you here but with that too what comes i feel like is improvement in your stability your foundations your environment that you are living in the queen of pentacles lives in a beautiful home uh, probably loves interior probably has everything the home represents her character the same would go for the queen of wands she would probably bring home uh, souvenirs from countries that she visited right so there was some sort of movement happening over here when it comes to your environment and it can come at the same time when you are either changing partnership or when a new partnership arrives because we have a new solid beginning over here what is the advice for you regarding this devil card here right now because it's still in your energy. So somehow some people are still tied to this or they maybe cannot get away. Different reasons for different people. Let's say if there was an unhappy marriage or you're working in a job that you don't appreciate, partnership-wise, colleagues, bosses, whatever the case. And financially, maybe you can't leave just yet. So it's understandable that it's still in your energy field. But what I wanna say with the Ace of Pentacles, if an opportunity comes your way, please think about it because you have the Wheel of Fortune next to it. Explore new things moving forward. What is the advice regarding the devil here? This feels big pile number two. This, if I had to be very straightforward, this feels like uh, people are packing their bags and going somewhere else. People are either getting divorced, so know where you stand. If your partnership is shit for a long time, you know that you know where you stand. Either getting divorced, getting a new partnership, or strengthening an existing partnership and tying the knot. 
I cannot make this up. Look what flips, three of pentacles. <laughs> we have, and then followed by the ace of cups, we have, and remember we're clarifying the devil. What is the issue, what is the advice, sorry. What is the advice? To seek for better partnerships. Don't be afraid of new connections and new people. Um, they're going to be quite influential moving forward. Just understand in that partnership who is dragging you down or what behavior is dragging you down and what can be done about this. But there definitely needs to be a fresh start here. Pile number two. Advice on the next steps. Advice on the next steps, come out to the world, end a chapter. Don't be afraid to end an old chapter. The world is waiting for you. I would say for some people you're being encouraged to travel, for some people you're being encouraged to wrap up a situation, end of a cycle, done with this, starting new, okay? Look around what's available on the web, I'm also hearing. What is the advice for you here? And do not be afraid to speak about what you want. Okay, throw chakra. Be clear with your words. Be clear with your words and your intentions. Do not be afraid to speak up, okay? So if you need extra content, I have Patreon if you'd like to join me there. And I also have an extra channel, the second channel. Brought back an old name, Aqua Arcana, and it's purely based on human interactions and relationships. So have a beautiful week and until the next one, bye. Hey Tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three and the Rose Quartz, um, it's actually not showing up as much on camera, but it's very pale pink. Behind the Algo Live card, what we have hiding, let me put this away, is one card from the Steampunk Keeper. And let's go, let's see. Okay, we'll see what this means. And we have, uh, this is a collective vibe. I'm telling you, if you wanted to watch one more pile or if you're coming from one other pile, I would not be surprised if you couldn't make up your mind between the two. So let's see what we got here. Let's pull more cards and let's go. Mm -hmm. Part three, what is improving? Not feeling it just yet now. We have the uh, Four of Pentacles, and it's called the Prudent Mountain Goat. We also have the Sun, mm -hmm. it's called the Beams, Beams of Life. you have the karmic soul tribe the family and let's pull one more card from the steampunk keeper one or two we'll see how many I feel and we're gonna start talking okay what is improving my people someone is definitely having a child if that's your wish I know not everyone wants that um, but someone is definitely having a child because I'm seeing a um, positive pregnancy test. We have a young man. Maybe it's a boy. <laughs> I'm not going to try and guess that to ruin that for you. <laughs> if you just found out, if you will be finding out in the near future. Okay. What is improving for you all? Definitely a relationship with a younger person or someone who has this very youthful spirit about them regardless of their age. We have meeting get together. Oh, it goes really well with the karmic soul tribe, the family. So let's go. What's improving? Your circle, guys. 
your circle. If anyone is watching this and you feel like, you know what, I'll, I'd really want to be a part of a group or part of a, a group doing something or part of a group who goes on adventure or creates something together or I feel lonely and need friends, new partnerships, you definitely get in that. But this is just generally. Specifically what I'm getting, um, expect a couple of people coming your way whom you have made soul contracts with pre-incarnation. So karmic soul tribe, the family, the meeting, the get together, right? I feel like there is going to be a time when you will be drawn to be a part of social gathering where you will recognize a person by just their vibe. It could be one person, it could be a couple of people, doesn't matter, but a new friendship, a new partnership uh, is coming into your life. And I love that we have a sun card over here. It seems like there are a lot of memories to be made still. And I can literally hear, you know, as if two so spirits were talking pre-incarnation, saying, you know what? Specifically, I'm hearing you. At that point of my life, I, w I want you, if you agree to walk into my life, and to be a new friend that I make. And the other spirit says, no problems. I also want to say for people who are currently really conflicted what to do in their life, you're finding an answer. The clarity is literally around the corner you're not gonna be questioning what you're being shown because it feels like it very organically you're going to get an answer. The first card that we got here today, it was an answer, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be the same answer for all of you here, many people watching, but within the next couple of weeks, you get in clarity about a situation that was very misty for you. You couldn't make sense of why is it happening the way it is or where am I going next? When I'm looking at the earth from this point of view i can't see shite I, all i can see is clouds right i need some clarity to see if where i'm at is safe enough i don't know how high this mountain is i don't know if i can climb down it if i need to try because i don't know how high up i am so if anyone felt like you were in this situation you get in an answer clarity and i feel like you're going to be super happy that you're stepping into this lighter state of being. And I wanna say there's quite a lot of happiness to be reaped, pile number three, especially for those people who felt meh, depressed, um, down, very unclear, lacked focus. That mist is going away in the future. But what I'm most excited about is the friendships or partnerships that you're meeting, you're making because this feels very fresh and very new um, this doesn't feel like someone that you already know of it could be but it more so feels like a new member of a soul tribe comes in and you start making contact with them you start building that connection let's see a little bit more and i'm using the uh, steampunk tarot let's go what is it about this person or these people? I'm just gonna say um, a person, it's gonna be easier. What is this person bringing into your life? What is this person bringing? A lot of happy moments, memories to be made, places to be visit, visited, um, parties to be attended gatherings to be attended mm -hmm. clarify the devil here for me <laughs> someone may overdo it <laughs> if we're talking about a party someone may overdo it be like okay hello <laughs> laugh live love yeah what are they bringing so you're gonna have to know where your boundaries lie when it comes to this. The most simple example I can give you, go out 
with a group of people and uh, you know you're not supposed to have this uh, fourth glass of wine for example but you still have it because others are having it so you're gonna have to determine what um where your line is okay just good ha have good boundaries with that because i feel like someone may become so excited it sits right on top of the sun card so happy that they overdo it a little bit They push it too much. Or maybe this person is like that. They're like, YOLO, man. Somehow they're going to um, make you see life from a slightly different lens. And uh, it feels very light to me here. It feels like you're going, this, this is like a sun too. It feels like this person is bringing in so much clarity and I don't feel like they're saying too much. Maybe the way that they lead their life or how they look at life, you may even want to quote to this person because it feels like their soul speaks to your soul. They might not even need to talk to you in order for you to feel safe and secure with them. You feel like home with this person. So definitely, yeah, look what flipped. I cannot make this shit up. See, there is resonance on energy levels right here. There is resonance. You will not be able to mistake in this person for anyone else. Are you going to know who this is? And I'm strongly sensing within the next th maximum three months you are meeting this new person who's going to inspire you somehow. Um, maybe even slightly change um, the way you used to live. Maybe you're going to start going out somewhere regularly or doing some sort of activity together on the weekend or after work that is going to be like a fresh breath of air. Yeah, what did I say? Um, I'm getting slight undertone of romance here for my single people. Even if you're not single, your current partnership might be improving. You may feel like you, you're becoming better at emotional intimacy. So if you felt, felt like there was lack of it because life happened and you're busy or if you're married, um, I feel like relationship is improving someone wants to restart or remember the old days and um, come back to that you know nostalgia that honeymoon phase for those who are single you may expect meeting a person who who you might possibly date and even possibly live with obviously this is not for all of you but i'm seeing that two people living together building a relationship a fresh new start, but I feel like this may move quite fast for a lot of people. Whoever this person is, they are a keeper, okay? Friendship-wise, business-wise, romantically. This person is a keeper. And I also feel like this person has a... Um, and that's what the devil, I feel like, is there. There is something about them that is very alluring, um, or they have a very high sex drive, so be ready. But I feel like you too. Look at this um, Empress when I split the deck. I feel like you too. There's going to be plenty of fire happening, especially in the bedroom. So have fun. <laughs> so I intended to keep this reading short and sweet. Um, not over analytical for those who have short attention span. But if you need uh, more readings, more content in general, if you want to join me on Patreon, relationship readings are on my second channel that is new still. Um, it's Aquarcana brought back the old name. And I'll see you the next week. Bye for now.